file number 24-98, People versus George Alva Wood. Um, I'm trying to run down the file in the other case. In this case, Mr. Wood is charged with a misdemeanor offense of trespass. He posted a $100 bond, maybe PR bond. He's here with his lawyer, Mr. Paul Gibson, George Alva Wood. Mr. Wood is here today. He was not here yesterday. Second. We had a personal protection order matter hearing. Mr. Marvin was here. Mr. George was here. The complainants, the Hoolies were here. Sorry, sorry, their child, know. they're scared. We're sitting around waiting for you to show up and you didn't show up, which is about the third time you've done this. Earlier this year, you were here in the morning. I told you to come back at 1.30. You showed up at like 3 o'clock. So right, sir. everyone is here. We're ready to go. Yes, and you don't show up. So you should a bench warrant for your arrest and set the bond at $2,500 in the personal protection order. I was not very happy. Sorry. You smugly say, this wasn't me. I want a hearing on this. So I set a hearing, get a lawyer for you, bring the witnesses in, and you don't show up. Forgive me, sir. I'm sorry. That's uh, I Mr. Marvin, the county prosecuting attorney, is offered to a plea to this trespass charge. And um, a civil violation of the PPO and resolve everything. That was his offer yesterday, except you didn't show up. Sorry, sir, I didn't. Um, sorry, I don't get it. All those people were here. The victims were here. I was here. I told you right here. I gave you a piece of paper with the time and date on it. Sir. And um, that's why you're sitting in handcuffs. Yes, sir. Sorry. Um, so anyway, Mr. Marvin has made an offer to resolve everything right now, this morning. Uh, Mr. Uh, Paul Gibson represents you on this trespass case. And uh, he says you still wish to have your hearing in this regard. I don't know what the, you say. Because it's, sir, honestly, if you see the people in the pictures, I know who those people are. That, that's not me in that picture, in the PPO, but I just want it resolved, it, but it's not me. Well, you complete no contest to each of these, um, the trespass. I don't know whether it's you or not. I mean, I see videos with creepy shadows in it on several different occasions. Um, you've got all these different trespass charges against you from your neighbors. These people were here yesterday and they were scared. I understand, sir. Um, I'm blaming them. I'd be scared if someone was doing that to me. Um, all right. So if you plead no contest to this trespass, by pleading no contest, you don't admit what happened. And you also don't deny what happened and you allow or accept that a conviction would enter. It's alleged that on or about December 12th, you trespassed on the lands of Cage and Karahuli. Uh, we had a hearing set for that yesterday, except you weren't here. Uh, and um, they still wish to continue the personal protection order. Mr. Marvin would take the criminal charge of violating a personal protection order and make it a civil uh, violation, which would resolve the personal protection order matter and the trespass matter. Um, by pleading no contest to these, you don't admit what happened, but you also don't deny what happened, and you allow or accept that a conviction would enter. Do you understand? I understand, sir. But... Well, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. 
I swear, I, 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 it's not me, but I just want it to be over here because it's a nightmare just as well as it is for me as it is for them because that's not me. I know who it is in the picture, but I, I don't want to get them in trouble either but by mentioning their names, but... Well, you already told me who you said they were. I don't know. All I know is I had everybody here yesterday to do it, everybody I but you. I know. So um, if you want to have a hearing, I'll set one. Um, I'm go home. So my wife just came back home after two years yesterday. She just came back home. From where? Out of state or here locally? No, she was actually living with another man. Oh, all right. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to get into that personal stuff yesterday. here. Um, well, do you want to take a minute and talk to Mr. George about what you want to do here? That's one of the homes. So whatever, if I can do that in myself, that's whatever I got to do is I'm trying to get told, sir. All right. So are you willing to plead no contest to the trespass charge? If it's not going to get me in trouble anywhere else. I don't want to get my probation officers getting ready to let me off of probation, but this is what got me from getting off of probation. It's this stuff. Yes. I, uh, I don't, I'm not going to do a probation violation based on this. Um, if you want a hearing, I'll give you one. So I just want to be over my cue. I don't want you to be mad at me. For well, me. all right. So you got to tell me. Do you want to plead no contest or not? Do I get to go home? Yeah. I just want to go home. Um, all right. Do you understand that by pleading no contest to this charge, you're giving up your right to have a trial in front yeah. of a judge or a jury? I hate it. That, All right, well, then I'm going to send you back to jail and leave your bond no, at $2,500 no, 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 and I'm good. set a hearing. No, no, I'll take it. Let me go. Uh, I'm just telling you. Just, it is what it is, but I don't want to sit in no jail. I mean, I want to go be Well, this is the wife. third time you failed to appear when you were supposed to. So um, I want to get these matters resolved. Yes. And if we have to have a hearing, I'm going to leave you in jail no, until sir, we I'm, have the hearing and no. get everybody here. <laughs> Look at me like that. You scared me, too. Well... I mean, all these people were here. I know. I'm sorry, um, man. I didn't. I got a right. phone call yesterday by a lawyer. Who told me to be here this morning. That's, I swear to you. My dad called in. Then he called in. Hey, boy, you got well, 14, 30. You had two different cases. I know, and I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. All right. Do you understand that if you plead no contest to this charge, you'll be giving up your right to have a trial in front of a judge or a jury? If you had a trial, you'd have the right to be represented by an attorney. Mr. George is here. I mean, Mr. Uh, Gibson is here with you. If you had a trial, you'd have a right to uh, take the witness stand and testify on your own behalf, but you don't have to because you have a right not to testify. And if you did not wish to testify, the judge or jury cannot hold your silence against you. And you have the right to be presumed innocent if and until the state was able to prove your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The affidavit here, this was authorized by Ms. Davis when she was still at the prosecutor's office. Complaining witness said you trespassed on his property. on 12-9, we'll use that as our factual basis. One day jail credit, one day zero fine, $125 in costs per probation. I think that probation is actually attempted resisting obstructing. I ain't been back there neither. I don't, let's assume for the sake of argument that uh, you're correct. I don't know what these other people are doing, lurking around these people's property at two o'clock in the morning, and they're in there on their uh, video cameras, looking like somebody from uh, a slasher movie, wearing their hoods up, their eyes are all bright from the ultraviolet uh, infrared cameras. Um, 
It's creepy. It is, sir. And I got some more I can share with you. Well, um, these people said, we wish we never would have even moved here. Okay. All right. I had all the paperwork here with me yesterday. The problem is it's electronic. What have you, did you bring anything down with you? Whatever you got. All right. You got my notes. Very good. Thank you. All right. So you were found in contempt yesterday for failing to appear and I issued a warrant for your arrest. It was set for a hearing on the allegation that you violated the restraining order. By going on the property on December 12th and other dates. A civil violation uh, would not give you the right to appeal it. What I'm going to do is if you plead no contest the way you just did, I'm going to continue that personal protection order and give you a day in jail. You understand? If I do something wrong, I would do nothing wrong. No, you already, this day, that you're here right now. So are you willing to admit by no contest a civil violation of the personal protection order for this same incident? And I get to go home, right? Yes. Yes, sir. I just want to go home. No wife. I want to move, though. Any place for me, let me well, move. your neighbors would all be happy if you moved. They wouldn't uh, be, sir, honestly, if you knew what I knew. Now I have to do an order. Uh, defendant admits to civil violation. And contempt for failing to appear. With a one day jail credit, one day. Thank you, sir. Sorry. Continue PPO. Yes, sir. All right. What do you want to tell me about all this? Um, you told me from the start that it's other family members that are going over there. I don't know whether that's accurate or not accurate, but why are they going over there? I have no idea. And my nephew's got three feet. That's one of them. He's got three feet in that one picture that I have no clue what he's carrying or what he, we don't have three feet but there's three shoes in that picture now how do you have three shoes in a picture when we got two feet I don't know but I'm just saying I don't know but I if I was in people in that house I would if, I'd be that little grip broken out and people do look creepy because when I see them they look creepy my nephew looks like he's got stuff all on his side and stuff I don't know what is going on there sir I, I wasn't there but it's creepy to me as well all right, so now, who owns, the, where are you live? Is that your mother's house? No, no, I live across my mom and dad. My dad lives across the street from me, but my nephew's property is connected to these cool people's property. And they say that his property is, or his driveway is, they've been beefing back and forth about the driveway being some of their property. Well, I see the PPO, and when I see my nephew, I was like, man, I don't know what you've been doing right there, boy, but he doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Whatever it is on his side, whatever he's carrying, it doesn't look good. Well, you're the boogeyman. So when something happens out there, they automatically assume it was you. And uh, there's more than one people in there. And we were going to try to get to the bottom of it. Anyway, this PPO is still in effect regarding you. You're not to go on those people's property or have any contact with them. All right. Um, where do you plan to move to? I, I'm looking. I, I gotta. I, I want to move. Look, I find a whole bag of shoes in my driveway, in my yard, right next to the woods. There's a whole bag of shoes. I brought them with me. They're my mom's vehicle. They got a number over one of the shoes. Got a number with a piece of tape on it. I don't. My daughters don't know whose shoes they are. Whose shoes are in the bag? Why are they at the edge of the woods? I don't know. I brought them to you. They're in mom and dad's car. I don't know how. Take yeah, them to the free store. Maybe somebody needs some shoes. I don't okay, know, but well, I don't. I didn't know. I just want to let you know that's what I found at the edge of my woods. 
And that's why I want to move. Stuff like that keeps popping up in the. In our but lives. your family's lived out here for Ever. 50 years, 80 years. Yes, Since I was five. I'm 53, so 47 years. All right. I don't know what to make of this. For the Hoolies, this matter is resolved regarding George Elvawood. There may be others. In fact, there are others because there's more than one person in some of those photographs. Uh, they're not under the jurisdiction of the court in this case. So Mr. Wood got arrested. He went to jail. I'm letting him out of jail. Uh, he owes money and he's still on probation. And uh, the personal protection order matter is resolved. So, Mr. Wood, they're going to take you back to the jail. You're going to book out and you can go home. Thank you, sir. Stay away from these people.